Bună ziua și bine v-am găsit la o nouă ediție WowBiz. Avem un live foarte special de această dată. Este vorba despre una dintre actrițele despre care am tot vorbit aici pe canapeaua WowBiz în emisiunea despre seriale turcești. Ceea ce multă lume nu știe este că ea are origini românești, Tatăl ei este român, deși s-a născut în Grecia. Este vorba despre Anastasia Cilibiu și suntem foarte încântați că a acceptat să facă acest interviu pentru Aubis.ro în exclusivitate. În acest moment ea se află în Atena și sunt sigură că ați văzut-o în serialul Chiosem, unde a avut rolul principal, un rol pe care l-a jucat la doar 18 ani. Vom afla de la ea cum se simte în această perioadă a pandemiei, cum se descurcă, dacă a trebuit să-și anuleze anumite proiecte și ce planuri are de viitor, cum stă cu viața amoroasă și mai multe ne spune chiar Anastasia, o să-i spun așa cu accent românesc, pentru că sunt sigură că este foarte dor de uh, România. Hello, Anastasia! We are so happy that uh, you accepted to be with us in this afternoon. We all know that uh, you are living in Greece, correct? Yes, yes, I do live in Greece. Uh, and uh, first of all, uh, I want to ask you, how are you? And uh, how are you dealing with this uh, pandemic period? Who, what uh, is your mood right now about uh, this situation? Um, it's, it's weird. I mean, uh, at the beginning of the pandemic, uh, it was... It was weird, and I was watching only movies, and I was at home all day, of course, and I uh, was doing nothing. Uh, this time, after like the second, like uh, when the second lockdown came and all this stuff, I tried to be more productive at home. I was uh, I was trying to work out and do things all the time, so I don't like sit and do you know basically nothing and uh, I read a lot of books and I watched less movies Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> it's better I think this time uh, let's talk about uh, your role in uh, Kyosem uh, it's the role that uh, made Romanian viewers take notice of you I know you haven't starred uh, in a Turkish TV series before how did you get to play the part Actually, yeah, I did like four auditions for this role. Wow. I, I, I was talking with the production for a long time, like half a year, and I did some auditions at my house in Greece, and then I went to Istanbul for the last uh, audition, and uh, I got the part. But uh, it was a, a bit like a long, um, a long thing, so um, I had to be patient and some. For some time, we didn't like talk a lot, so I thought it was over, you know, uh, that I'm not gonna be part of this uh, series. But then they uh, talked to me again, like uh, after some months, and uh, yeah, they told me that I have to go to Istanbul, and yeah, that's how it all started. I uh, understand that uh, you did not speak Turkish when you had your uh, audition, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, but you are not uh, the only actress that had to learn the language for the part. <laughs> uh, Maria Muzerli also did uh, not speak Turkish when she started playing the role of Hurem in Suleiman. I don't know if you know uh, this. <laughs> yes, yes, of course I know her. But the question is, uh, how did you manage to learn the language? Well, um, I didn't know Turkish when I was there, neither when I um, left. Uh, from Istanbul. I was only like uh, memorizing my lines. Um, after when I left uh, Turkey, I did some uh, classes here, some Turkish um, classes and I learned more Turkish. Uh, when I was there, I was just like learning my lines by heart. I didn't know uh, any words or any meanings of the words or how to talk uh, in Turkish. And it was really hard for me at first, but then um, As I was like waking up, listening to uh, people uh, talking in Turkish the whole day, uh, it became natural for me. And um, it was really easy for me to learn my lines. It was uh, like more natural and easy. 
<laughs> but uh, how well do you speak Turkish now? Well, it's been a long time. I haven't <laughs> spoken uh, in Turkish, but I'm um, doing some exercise uh, now and then. Um, and I still remember a lot of uh, words. When I go to Turkey for vacation now, I know how to... I, I manage to talk with people and, you know, order food or ask for the directions to go somewhere or um, talk with my friends and say, like, some little stuff, you know. But not... A lot. I can't like speak about politics or economics or you know. I can't do like I can't. I can't have a serious conversation with someone. I don't speak so much Turkish, but I understand everything. When I hear someone talk with someone else, I can understand any, everything that they say. And yeah. <laughs> but uh, can you send a message for Romanian people in Turkish? In Turkish. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, I can say... I love um, you or something like this. <laughs> I don't uh, know. Merhaba, I know. Oh, okay. Merhaba, arkadaşlar. Sizi çok seviyorum. That means, yes. uh, hello, friends, and I love you very much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> For how long have you been in uh, Istanbul? Uh, when I was there, you mean, when I was uh, acting in Josem. I was yes, there yes. for five months. And did you like uh, the city? Yeah, I liked it at all, a lot. And um, I wanted to go back. And yes. I'm I'm going back whenever I can now. Of course, I can't travel, so I haven't been there for like one and a half year. But I'm planning to go again when this is uh, over and uh, we can travel again. And I really miss it and miss my friends there <laughs> yeah it's a nice city um you can do like a lot of stuff so yeah i really enjoy going there um other question for you is uh, who are the actresses you met uh, during the filming of kyosem i know that uh, beren Saat was uh, the one who replaced you and played the young kyosem she is uh, an extremely beloved actress in Romania as well. Uh, did you meet her? Yeah, I met her actually. Uh, we went uh, at Cannes uh, together um, in France. And um, I met her. She's like a really nice person and lovely. And uh, we had a nice time. I actually met the people that I was acting with. I mean, the actors that I was acting with in Josem. I didn't have the chance to meet someone else, but uh, one day I met uh, Marianne. At, yes? Uh, yes, I met her. Uh, actually, I love her. I her. <laughs> yeah, she's really uh, nice. And um, I just met her for like five minutes or something like that. She she was uh, by chance, she was there at uh, our studio and she had her um, some photo shooting or something like that and they told me ah oh, Mariam is here and I freaked out <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. I went and met her and yeah she was lovely and I had this moment that I couldn't like say anything like I was shocked and I couldn't tell her anything like I forgot how to speak you know <laughs> I would do the same if I were there <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm sure, yeah. for sure <laughs> <laughs> Um, after Kyosem, uh, did you receive other offers to start in Turkish productions? Actually, yeah, I had uh, some auditions. I, um, they called me for uh, some roles after Kyosem. Uh, unfortunately, acting in another language is like um, you have, don't have so many chances to act in another language because you have to be, you know, you can't be like a Turkish person person you have to be yes. someone that it's you know from another country so the chances are like less uh, than like acting at your language in your country so um yeah I, i'm still talking with uh turkish people and turkish um directors and producers and uh, i'm trying my best to go back there because i really want to it's true, but uh, you were wonderful in Kyosem. <laughs> so you, you don't Thank need you. to worry about the language. 
<laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, are you watching the Turkish TV series? Can you tell us uh, who is your favorite Turkish actress? Um, actually, I watched uh, the last one that I watched was uh, The Protector uh, on Netflix. And um, my favorite actress is the Nurgül Yeşilçay. That she's uh, at, um, she was at Karasevta. I like her a lot. And yeah. <laughs> the Romanian women uh, have their uh, preferences divided between three beautiful uh, actors. Um, Burakos Civit, for sure you, you know him. Uh, Kivan Statelug and Chan Yaman. Which do you like the most? I think, I think Borak is my favorite. Borak? He's really talented, talented and uh, yeah, of course he's handsome, but <laughs> yes, he's yes. very talented. He really is. <laughs> I really like his acting. He's really good. Uh, do you know any actor or uh, actress from Romania? Or a Romanian singer, perhaps artist uh, or something like this? Something from Romania? Actually, I don't know Romanian actors, but I know um, I know Ina. Oh. I grew up with her songs. <laughs> A lot of uh, her songs are really famous here in Greece, like um, like many songs. So I was, uh, and I'm still listening to her songs, like until now. I really like her. Do you like to sing? Do you have a voice or something like this? I don't know. <laughs> or you don't sing in public? <laughs> I don't know. I sing uh, when I shower. I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. In the shower is good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could you tell us something in Romanian? I don't know a lot of Romanian, but uh, I know like some words. Uh, I know like salut, I know sarmale, I know... Sarmale. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Everybody know knows. <laughs> Um, but you can teach me something Tell us right everything now. you know. Yes, I'm going to teach you something. Okay. Okay, teach me. <laughs> um, you can say... Uh, Urmariț. Urmariț. Wow, biz. <laughs> wow, biz. Pentru. Pentru. Cele. Cele. Mai tari? Mai tari? Știri! Știri! Super! It's okay, it's perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you said uh, watch Wobbies for the best news. Okay, yeah, of course, watch uh, Wobbies. Uh, what do you like about our country? in your country? <laughs> um, actually, I really like uh, the atmosphere. The people are amazing. The food is really yummy. <laughs> and um, I like the culture. I like um, I like being there because like it, it's everything is like it's beautiful. Like um, it feels like culture. home, Romania yeah. or more yes. Greece. Uh, well, Greece, because I grew up here and I spent my whole life here. But when I go to Romania, I feel like I belong there too. So I, it doesn't feel like it's a strange uh, a country that I don't know, you know? Uh, you, talk, uh, you talked about uh, food, uh, as I remember. And I want to ask you, uh, between Greek, Romanian and Turkish uh, dishes, which would you choose? And uh, what is your favorite food? Well, um, they have some uh, similarities, uh, those cuisines, but not like a lot. Um, I really like uh, the three of them uh, a lot, but I would say I like, I don't know, it's hard. Uh, Did you eat sarmale? Yeah, of course. I yes, love do you like My dad, like makes the best salmale, so yes. I really love them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I really like salmale, so yeah. And uh, from I Greece, I know uh, tzatziki. I yeah, love tzatziki. tzatziki. Yeah. 
and from Turkish, um, I love uh, kebab. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Do you like kebab and um, yeah. uh, the desserts from uh, baklava? Baklava, exactly. Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> oh. Uh, my heart is beating <laughs> faster. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the last question for you is about your um, personal life, <laughs> because okay. you're so beautiful. And um, I want to know if you have a boyfriend or uh, something or someone special in your life. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, Yeah, I'm, I have someone special in my life, and uh, I'm very grateful for that. And yeah, I mean, I'm still learning about, you know, uh, love and all these things, and it's exciting. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy, and um, everything is good. <laughs> for how long um, What? are you dating? <laughs> for how long are you dating? Um... It's uh, like uh, four months now. Four so months. It's new. Oh, it's new. It's new. Your yeah. fa your father knows about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. He likes yeah. <laughs> And uh, he likes him. Yeah, of course. My dad is the best, so um, they both like each other. It's fine. <laughs> you talk uh, with your father about your personal life, or with your mother. Uh, with my mother mostly, but I talk with my father too. I love both of my parents and I'm close with them. So um, I talk about everything with them when it's something that I can share, you know, when I feel comfortable talking about something. Good. <laughs> uh, what can I say? What though? <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> what, can, <laughs> what can I say, uh, Anastasia? These were our questions for you. Uh, our Great. questions for you. Uh, you are so nice. And uh, hope to see you soon here um, in Romania at Canal de Romania. <laughs> and uh, talk about all uh, your projects, about your boyfriend, about your father, about everything you want. Uh, thank you so much uh, for accepted to do our, uh, this interview with us, and uh, take care, be safe. Thank you. <laughs> you too. And uh, lots of kisses from Romania. <laughs> kisses. Thank you a lot. Thank you so much. Aceasta a fost Anastasia pentru dumneavoastră. Um, eu am simțit foarte bine, sper să o avem în curând în platoul Wowbiz, în emisiunea noastră despre seriale turcești și să dea chiar ea note actorilor din Turcia pe care sunt sigură că i-a întâlnit față în față. Și de ce nu, pe viitor o să vă mai facem astfel de surprize, o să intrăm în direct cu actori și actrițe din serialele turcești pe care le îndrăgiți. Sperăm să-l avem într-o zi și pe Burac Oscivit, cine știe. Vreau să vă fac această surpriză. Îi mulțumim tare mult, Anastasie, vă mulțumim și dumneavoastră pentru că ați fost alături de noi și nu uitați că cele mai tari știri sunt întotdeauna la WowBiz.